Hello everybody, welcome back to another fossil hunting video. There's some really nice big and rough waves at the moment. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you my biggest ichthyosaur vertebra that I've ever found. So definitely stick around to the very end to see that. First find of the day. There's definitely an ammonite inside there. Don't know if you can see it, I'm going to zoom in right now. I'd imagine it's a pseudo seems to have already opened up as it's fallen from the cliffs. There's a belemite phragmacone on the floor. Just a part of one, the rest has worn away. A nice block absolutely full of fossilised shells. Just the top layer revealed. I'm pretty sure that the shells will run right through the rock if given a tap with the hammer. A lovely belemite that has been freshly exposed with a nice golden fragma fern there. There you can see the huge waves crashing over. A nice looking ammonite there. It's not come out too bad, it definitely could be worse. I love finding them just like that. That's not been placed, that has been washed there by the tide. Lovely little golden ammonite. Another one washed in just by the sea. Oops. There's loads of foam all around me, which usually means the sea's been super rough. I've just spotted another partial ammonite here on the floor. Let's pick it up. Not too bad at all. Of course, it's very wave-worn. Worth taking back. Very nice. The sea is still coming in really rough. Let's make his way back to safety before the sun goes in. Check that out. A nice, chunky Bellamite Fragma cone. There we go guys, a beautiful roaring sea. Looking over at the sunset on the beach. Let's have a go at splitting some ammonites now. This could be a good split, so let's try and get a good view of it. And it's certainly a really nice popper. I really do appreciate everyone who tunes in to watch me do this wonderful hobby that I enjoy so much doing. Here we are guys, washed up with all the seaweed is a nice string of vertebra. Unfortunately, these are just a little bit too modern for my liking. I'm guessing they're from either a seal or a dolphin, judging by the size. So guys, the next lot of clips you're about to see will be from my fossil hunt this morning. The sea was really loud, so I'm gonna put some music behind it instead. Hopefully you enjoy it.
Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the biggest ichthyosaur vertebra that I've ever found. Beautiful place to sit and have a drink while having a walk to Robin Hood's Bay. I'm going to show you that vert now, but first of all I'll show you when I originally found it. I have posted a really good video, and there's a lot of good finds there, so that'll be linked if you want to go and watch that. That is an actual ichthyosaur vert, and it's huge. Now let's have a look at it while it's been fully prepared. So here is the ichthyosaur backbone. It's from a monster ichthyosaur. The ribs would have been attached right there where my thumb is. And the neural arches would have gone at the top. You can see the marks where they would have attached on. I've had it professionally prepared to be fully out of a nodule. And I'm super happy with it. Remember guys, if you do enjoy watching my fossil hunting videos, please hit that subscribe button and give the video a like if you've enjoyed it.